Poems from Reykjavik. Who's Malzog Meninga? She's drinking Coca-Cola, he's drinking Sprite. The people are singing so good, so good, so good, except they shouldn't. The snow outside crushed to ice, and a man shouts something about the apocalypse. We're not scared of zombies, even though the cold might stop them from decomposition. Window ledge guitars, better than my butterfly, my bumblebee. Not as good as the wolf, but the wolf needs new strings and is on the other side of the Atlantic. Shay looks sad, but she says she's only tired. I feel like I was punched under the stomach. Tomorrow, nature, the phenomenon and not the magazine. The walls have eyes, 10,000 books and a couple of tote bags. Yesterday, live music. Today, live music. Tomorrow, live music. First world problems in the snow. Stop cancelling things. It's only the weather and not a celebrity caught in a Nazi salute or a streamer to deep fakes. I know if your car breaks down in the Icelandic countryside or you run out of fuel in the winter, you probably die or get frostbite. But I'm only here for two rotations and I don't want to miss what I came for. I came for love but it cost me money and the banknotes I got are mostly useless. Nowhere takes cash, it's card only and I'm worried about my bank account. Same story, different country. Snowbound. We almost died today. Not from the ice we kept slipping on or the snow falling from the roofs in the smoky bay of Reykjavik. Not from the cold, the biting wind that left my hands stigmated, looking like an eczema plague made me a zombie. Not by shifting tectonics, nor by being burned at the stake as a heretic, a cis white witch with a or a mother who left her baby on her doorstep. Not from the geezers bubbling from the ground, 80 to 100 degrees Celsius, so don't dip your hands in. Not in visitors' centres or because of the weather, the coldest winter in 100 years. They say if you don't like it, wait 20 minutes and it'll change. Not from a computer, it's called a tolva. Not from the prophetess of numbers or her disciples. Not in a forest either. If you get lost in the woods, stand up, the trees aren't as tall as you are. Not from a horse or an Icelander, not from telling them you love their ponies. Not from the golden waterfall, either from going down in a barrel or hiking barefoot to Parliament. We almost died today. Our bus hit a crosswind in a blizzard, and we skidded off the road into a snowdrift, and our bladders burst while waiting to be rescued. Steroid Cream A man's hands are the tools with which he marks the world, the automatic weaponry he fights his wars with. Without his hands, he's armless. He's a snow shovel on the beaches of Normandy. This man's hands are red with anger. Anger at another man who took his sweet time at a photo booth. The skin is flayed like the Bolton's banner. Fingers cracked and weeping like a patient on a psych ward. Like an honest politician, they hurt when they bend and also they're non-existent. There's nothing but pain and information. <laughs>